Hello guys and welcome back to Planet 40k. It's that time where we're going to be drawing our, our prize draw, I suppose. We did a giveaway video in the end of November, I think it was. It must have been because we did the December videos, of course. So we did a giveaway video and there was nine epic prizes. And today we're going to draw those nine winners. So what we normally do with these videos, we go uncut. We don't go live. I'm not really a live person. I like to have a bit of control of my videos. But we go uncut to avoid any sort of higgery, piggery, jiggery, pokery business going off. We kind of keep it uncut so that, that can't happen. We've got nine prizes. Now, most of the prizes are next to me. Some of them I haven't bought yet because, for example, the top prize is a combat patrol box of your choosing. If I don't know what you chose, I can't go out and buy it. Yeah, we normally do like a studio tour, but because we've got nine, I think we can just kind of go with it. So we'll just run and yeah, 15 minutes should probably film. I'm going to be using pickawinner.co for the random comment picker from YouTube. Now I previously used a different web page, but it had a maximum of of 500 entries, unless you pay for it, and I don't want to pay for it. So yeah, I'm going to just use this new one. Never done it before. YouTube random comment picker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my. This should be on the screen now, in fact, for you. So it's all uncut and whatnot. I'm going to copy and paste the. Nine prize one, my giveaway. It had 830 comments. Now, some of them may be duplicates, so we will be getting rid of those duplicates in a moment. I'm clicking fetch, include replies, no, and allow duplicates, no, and I press continue. That loads up the comments. It's going to be about 800 ish, depends on those duplicates. Let's see what it comes up with. We've got 817, and it was 830, so yeah, there's a few duplicates in there. Now this is the, I'm drawing this on the 2nd of January, on a Tuesday, just in case it comes, I don't know if it comes up on this one actually, on the other one it had the date and time of the actual draw, I don't know if it would do it on this one, but yeah, I've got an itchy nose, that's not a great start to the video, but I can't stop it and cut it out, we're just going to have to leave it in there. So we've got 9 prizes, I will mention what the prize is before doing the each draw. So prize number nine is from Legion 3D Prints. And if you remember from the video, I should have got these out ready, really. That was silly of me. Come on, get it out. It was basically a load of scarabs, like a, what are they called? Nanobots. Ah, and we had these emerald crystal things. Let's have a look. I'm going to blame the person who put these in it because they are really tight. There we go. They're, they're like the crystal things. You put them on your bases. Again, I never think, I have to do that, I think that's the trick, is that the trick? And the nano scarab things, come on, you're going to come out in one or am I going to just use these guys? There we go. Nano scarab thingy majigs that can go on your Necron bases, they're really tiny and great for basing. I'm not going to get all of these out because, yeah, that hurt my fingers, let me put them down. So yeah, Legion 3D Prints has supplied them. So check them out, there will be a link in the description below for those. Right, so let's just get a, let's get a winner. Right, so we're going to pick a winner. I don't know how this goes, I don't know whether it rolls through names or it's just instant, I don't know. Let's just do it. Whatever it comes up with is the winner of that prize. So if it just comes up. Missing one, 9185. My man's out here displaying the prizes, meanwhile I'm sitting there wondering if he's one of the lucky dudes to have the Necron sweater hand knit by his grandmother. And if I could get one. Cool. Right, so you are the winner of all that gear. So that's one prize out of nine done for missing one, nine, one, eight, five. I'm going to put that over there, actually, out of my way. So if I press X and that should load, yeah, cool. On to the next one. It was loads of, like, gaming aids. I've already bagged them up so it doesn't look as Good, unfortunately but I wanted it all sort of ready but there was a little video clip I might input this into the video without ruining the uncut business there was battleshock tokens there was wound counters battleshock tokens again objective markers and deployment markers which I actually wanted to keep I should have I should have stole them from this uh, giveaway but no I wanted to give them away really so that's from Carcosa printing They've actually got a few different items in this entire giveaway, so shout out to them guys, Carcos are printing. They've got their own store, and again, they'll be in the description down below. So, let's just go and pick another winner. We have got Lakit... I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff. Lakit Imerin. 
Those dice are fire. They're referring to the dice, which are another giveaway item. You didn't win the dice, but you did win the game in AIDS. So well done to you. I'm not going to go for your name again because I don't want to butcher the name. But well done to you. I'm going to put them there and we'll deal with that. Yeah, let's move on to another one, I guess. Close that and go again. The next one, we have got GameMaker.eu has provided some, I call it memorabilia now, because we use these in one of our battle reports. It was our second battle report, the one where we actually had the camera quite steady for once. And it's these three Necron kind of tower looking things. Um, they were quite quickly painted up, to be honest with you, because I wanted to get the battle report done. But if you want to repaint them, that's fine. But they're yeah, 3D printed Necron towers, nice piece of terrain. But if you don't want to paint them up and just leave them as they are, they were used in the Planet 40k battle report. So, have it how you like. They are from, did I already say where they're from? No, they are GameMaker.eu. So they've got their own 3D printing store. They'll be in the link down below as well. If you want to get yourself some of these Necron light, there's lots of other different things as well, but these are what I've got for you now. So I guess we just click the button and it just comes up like that, right? So let's do it. Pick a winner. Let's go. We've got bird flu. Well, I haven't got bird flu, but bird flu has one. You should get on the Paul Hammer podcast. Would love to hear you do a live breakdown discussion. I don't know what Paul Hammer podcast is. You'll have to let me know. Am I missing something there? Paul Hammer? Or is this a porn reference? I don't know. It sounds really weird. Paul Hammer podcast. No, I don't think it is. I shouldn't have even said that. Never mind. Right, we're going to put this to the side. Bird flu, that's going to be for you. I don't know how quickly I'm going through these. Maybe I need to slow myself down because... Well, let's have a little break. Let's have a little chat about what I'm doing with my Necrons. I don't know if you already know. You've probably seen the painting video we did recently with the contrast paints. I did in the end go for the Deadly Visage. And the, I'm in the middle of doing Imatech at the moment. Let's see if we can get this on camera. Come on. Come on, you can do this. Can you get it on the camera? Kinda, kinda. The lighting just isn't there. I need the darker room to do it. Um, yeah, I'm going with the Deadly Visage uh, colour scheme with the orange Planet 40k colours, really. I'm trying to get that on. Maybe if I change the background. Give me two secs. Let's do this properly. I go to the lights. And I go to that. And I turn it down a bit. That might, might. No promises. It's still not going to, is it? Oh, it's just too dark in there now. I don't know. Well, that's what I've gone for anyway. Deadly Visage with the orange. What's the orange called? Troll Slayer Orange from Citadel. I'm liking the scheme. And so, yeah, I'm changing it up. I, I did previously have the Visage with the, the purple, but I'm taking the purple away and I'm going to put that to orange. Purple didn't really work that well. Tyranid wise, if you're interested in Tyranids, I did, I was trying to get them painted up for a 2k game during Christmas and I didn't manage to do it and I kind of rushed into a new scheme. I don't like the scheme so I'm going to redo it. In fact, let me turn that off. Am I able to turn that off or have I completely screwed up my lights now? That's going to be really dark. Give me two secs, let me turn that back. Get that back to where we were. And we're in. Yeah, so I went for this sort of burgundy. Again, I can't get these in good. Burgundy with like this teal, greeny blue kind of colour. It's not going to work at all. It's got to be a better way of doing this. What if I put the torch on? Is that going to work? Yeah, ish. This doesn't want to. Doesn't want to pick it up. But I don't like it anyway, so I'm going to be redoing them. But yeah, I've, I wanted to get a battle report in for Necrons vs Tyranids for the Christmas Eve game. Didn't get anywhere near finishing it, and stupidly I went for a the detachment where you've got loads and loads of Gaunts, the never-ending, uh, the unending swarm detachment. So I was trying to get 80 Termagants in, which was way too optimistic, way too ambitious. I did manage to half sort of half paint 40 of them but the rest of the list was untouched so yeah that's why that hasn't happened that battle report will happen hopefully January fingers crossed for January I still need to get 
a lot of a lot of stuff done. I'm getting my Necrons done. I'm now not using my Tyranids. I'm going to be using Planet 40k or Demon Prince Powies. He because he also plays Tyranids, so he's going to be using his models. And I just need to get the terrain done as well because there is a there's a lot of terrain to go. But yeah, that's where I'm at with painting. Well, what in terms of painting color schemes anyway. So I'm sort of redoing everything. I've got all my towels still up there that I haven't touched. I've got my my space marines that I haven't touched. I've just got such a massive blob of, you know, I don't even know what you call it. There's a lot of models to get rid of. But I did get those 61 Necron Warriors down, I suppose. Anyway, I'm, I'm waffling enough now. I think I'm going to move on to the next one, which was prize number six. Prize number six. Let's remove bird flu a moment. Prize number six was the Flayed One toy. The Flayed One toy, which is not a sponsor or anything like that, but it is created by, made by Mark Fallon Toys. So no sponsor there, just just in my in my room. I thought I'd give it away. Pick a winner. Let's go. Gaming Frog six six eight. Love Necrons and stuff. Jar Jar. So that's for you, Gaming Frog six six eight. You won the Flayed One's toy. I'm running out of space because I've got about 40 warriors to my side here. I'm struggling. I'm really struggling with space. Don't need my phone. That can go over there. What have we got next? The Flayed One toy is done. Prize, we've still got five prizes. Okay, I thought I had less than that. Uh, we've got prize number five, which is the Necron Towers. These are sponsored by Carhole Makers. So they've got their 3D printing webpage. Link will be down in the description below. These are unpainted, they are 3D printed, there's four of these kind of towers. I think when I showed them off in the in the actual giveaway video, I did a video maybe? Not sure what I did now. But there's four sort of towers, and that one's sort of a broken-ish kind of tower, and there's another one there. So yeah, do them how you want. Car hole makers. And yeah, we should just draw another person, right? Let's go. We've got Sirius Gorgiria, 9116. Hoping to finally start an army. I've been eyeballing Warhammer 40k all my childhood. So hopefully this will get you started playing a game. You've got some terrain already. And hopefully you pick Necrons or Tyranids, I suppose. Necrons is obviously my go-to. But yeah, that is for you. I'm going to start leaving these in this area now because I am really running out of space. Put that there. That's yours, Sirius Gorgiria 916. That's yours. Next, we're getting on to the prizes that I want to really keep. I'm not going to lie. The Tyranid Dice is next. Tyranid Dice. I don't know if you saw this in the, in the previous video. These are. These are. Wait till you actually feel these. Whoever wins these, you're, you're a lucky person. They are nice. They are really nice, these dice. So I'm going to put them on the screen in a moment. Put them back in. It's the Tyranid Coloured Dice, or Tyranid Scheme. It's gold and pink. Doesn't necessarily have to be Tyranids. If you just like gold or pink, they're great, but they feel so good. And you can't actually buy this on their website. And it's from uh, Innovative Tinkering, by the way. You can't actually buy this set. This is a 15-piece set. I think they sell them in sixes. So you can't get this anywhere. Or anywhere from here at the moment. Right, so let's get another one going. This is for the Tyranid, well I call it the Tyranid Dice, the pink and gold dice. Here we go. We've got DDD Berry Mushy. Start collecting Space Marines, first ended up collecting Necrons. This channel really helped me build up my collection. Now you've got nice pink hair in your image. So that might be perfect for you. Might not be, I don't know. But yeah, you've won the Tyranid Dice, with the pink and gold dice. So congratulations to DDD Berry Mushy. You've won that. Oh, three left. Three left to go. Prize number three. We've got the Necron coloured dice. Same place. It's Innovative Tinkering. Innovative. I always get that tongue tied. Innovative Tinkering. Which they've got all sorts of dice. I should say a bit more about these guys because they're so good. You go on their website and you can choose the type of the, the colour of the metal. Because these are metal. So if you want it gold, silver, I think there's a few other colours, and then you choose the colour of the actual dice itself and the pattern around this sort of edges as well. For this one I've got my silver and green because that's sort of the standard Necron kind of colours. So I'm calling these the Necron dice. Who's going to win the Necron dice? Let's see, there's still 811 comments left to go. 
no duplets, no no replies. We've got Wilds ATMO Sphere. Surrender meat bags. Don't know what that means. I don't know if that's an insult. I don't know if that's I don't know. But either way, they're yours. Will Atmo Sphere. Will Atmosphere. Why didn't I see that the first time? Will Atmosphere. Wilds Atmosphere. Wilds Atmosphere? Surrender meat bags. That's yours. <laughs> oh dear. You can't write these. Okay, we're on to prize number two now. This one I will input a clip. I'm not going to put it over the whole thing because that would ruin the uncut part of this whole video. So I'll put it in a corner somewhere. And it's for the large industrial terrain set and that's from Carcosa Printing again. It's quite a lot of terrain here and I used it in my first battle report and I think I used bits of it in the second. I can't remember now. I think I used the pipe work in the second. It's really good stuff. It is 3D printed again, so you get onto their website again and you will find this and a lot of other different kind of, well, anything. I was going to say industrial 40k terrain, but it's all sorts of terrain in there, not just industrial. So yeah, Carcosa printing. Pick a winner, let's go. No way, that's Icarus again, isn't it? It is, I think that's the guy that won last year. Icarus Osa. Because it says the app now, so I don't know if it's the same person. I think it is. I'm looking at that picture. Icarus OC9ZB. It may be. It may not be. If it is, you're a lucky guy. You need to play the lottery or something. But love my Necrons, Timid Orcs, and Space Marines. Getting that Necron Combat Patrol. It was him. No way. Getting the ne Necron Combat Patrol last year really helped me to get to 2k points. I'm actually like beaming here. That's madness. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> You've just won the large industrial terrain set. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Wow. Wow. <laughs> right, we're on to the last one. I've got nothing to grab because it's now the combat patrol set. You you can't be winning this one because you get removed from the comments. So you've already had your luck, Icarus. Yeah, let's leave it to somebody else. This is it now. This is the final one. This is a combat patrol set of your choosing, so whoever wins this, you get to tell me which combat patrol box set you, you want, as long as it's available. If it's one of the older ones and I can't get it, then I can't get it, but yeah, if you play Dark Angels on this one, I'll get you that. If there's an Orc one, I'll get you that, and so on. Let's press the button. Pick a winner. We've got Leo Vaeg. I don't know what that says. Leo Vaeg. What is it saying there? Against the elves is the picture. I always love your videos, concise and interesting. So you'll have to let me know what combat patrol box set you like and I will sort you that out. So I don't know how long this video has been going on guys but we've uh, we've done nine prizes and hopefully we'll be doing more of this kind of stuff with giveaways. I don't know when the next one will be. I'm supposed to be getting a 3D printer in which I may be putting into a giveaway. So stick around for that. But yeah, guys, thank you all for getting involved and I will see you in the next one.